Hello, Flutter experts. Welcome to a crucial phase in our e-commerce application development journey. In today's session, we will be delivering into the integration of Firebase a powerful backend solution and to both our user and admin application. This step is fertile for real-time data management, user authentication and more. So let's seamlessly blend Firebase into our Flutter application. As our application grows in complexity and functionality, the need for the robust backend becomes evident. Firebase, a comprehensive platform provided by Google, offers a suite of tools and services that can greatly enhance our application capabilities. Today, we will be focusing on integrating Firebase into both the user and the admin application. So let's just uh, visit uh, and open our browser. So on the browser, just uh, go to your console.firebase.google.com and open the Firebase console and just log in um, with your Gmail ID and just add all your uh, account information, which uh, will be pop up on your screen. So you just need to add them and after that uh, You will be just getting a screen uh, Here or dashboard basically. So for me, I'm just getting these uh, recent uh, uh, Projects, so I have just uh, Worked on some project because that's the reason I'm just getting these for you for you you will be just getting this ad project in your screen so to add a new project um, and integrate the firebase into your new project so you just need to click on this add uh, project here so here first we just need uh, uh, the name basically the project name so just write so I'll be writing this Paloch Dev Shopping. So you can just add uh, your own project name. So here I'll just don't need this Google Analytics for this project. So I'll just um, turn off this and I'll just create the pro project. So it will just take some time. So that's it. Our project is now ready. So I'll just be clicking on this continue button. And there you have it. We have just got um our project uh, here so now when we just want to add a uh, device into it so for that you can just add your ios apple and ride and the web one and unity and the flutter so for me and how are this application is based on android only so we are just working on the android version so i'll be just clicking on the android so just to add the android integrate it on our application so here the application package name is required so we will be just going to our um, this android directory and our this user project so uh, i'll be just going here and this app and the build get so we will just see and get that uh, um, application name basically so here you have it we will be just copying this one so you can just edit that and uh, just do that uh, and i'll just uh, rename this basically so for me i'll just write it baloch uh, dev e-commerce and i'll just save this from here and now i'll just copy this after copying this i will just paste this and i'll just name it e-commerce application this is optional you can just leave it but i'll be just adding that below dev e-commerce application so you can just also uh head this kind of certificate sh something so you can just uh visit that uh, how can you just um uh, take your keys uh, by getting the sh keys and all things so i'll be just not adding them because these are some kind of uh, private things and the confidential things so you can just copy this key from here and just paste it on your terminal 
and you will be just getting your keys and just copy uh, these SHA one fingerprints keys and just paste it there so you will be just good to go so for me I'll be just going to register help without adding anything so that's it you can just add that so now we just want to download we just need to download this google services.json uh, into our this app directory so i'll be just downloading it so after downloading so i'll be just going to just copy this into our project and the app directory so i'll just go to this and inside the app directory i'll just add this so after adding this so i'll just uh, rename this and just remove that pipe thing which is written and the name so this one so i'll be just doing that and that's it i'm good to go uh, so after that we will be just going and clicking on the next button and here we will be just um, getting something here so we can be just able to uh, add them into our this root level which is basically there are two build.gradle files so uh, one is in the root level and one is in the app level so we will be just adding the this uh, line into our our um, app level basically so i'll be just going to our app level gradle file so basically uh, root level so this is uh, coming from our um, app level so i'll be just closing this so we will be just now getting this from our app level so i'll be just copying this uh, and pasting this here and so i just want to name it as uh, make it similar as our that one so i'll just paste the class path here and i'll just do that and now i'll just uh, make the versions like similar to our top one so for that we will be just writing 4.4.0 and that's it so i'll just remove these so we don't need it so i have just um, done this because i have already have some kind of experience so here we just need to remove this dot from here and we just need to put some kind of columns here so doing that with the dot you will be just getting some kind of errors so i have already experienced that so that's the reason i am just doing that removing that dot and replacing it with the column so you just need to do that also um, if you don't you will be just getting some kind of mm, gradle errors so now we will be just moving to uh, next one so after that then end your module app level so now we just need to copy this so basically android.com is already there so we will be just copying this now so this we just need to add this into our app level gradle so i'll be just doing that mm, so yeah basically i just uh, our application uh, android dot application is already available so now i'll just copy this and i'll just remove this parenthesis here so i'm good to go so after that we just need to mm, copy this and add to into our dependencies so, so i'll just do that and i'll just paste it here so I'm good and again now we will be just moving to the next one and I'll just move to console so that's it here we have just uh, added one um, uh, application into this project so now we will be just uh, um, killing our this application and rerunning it if we will be just getting some kind of error so we will be just solving them uh, so if it runs uh, without any error it means that our project and uh, uh, our this uh, firebase has been integrated successfully so before that we will be just uh, also installing some kind of uh, firebase packages here so for that i'll be just going to my this basically um, admin application and then the pubspec.yml file so here we just need to um, install these packages um, into our user application and into our admin application so i have already done that um, in our admin application but 
we just need to do the same process um, into our this basically user application pubspec.yml file so i'll just copy this so you just need to use the firebase core we can be just able to integrate it and the firebase auth for the authentication and the uh, cloud file store to just store uh get the storage and with firebase storage for just storing the images and the google sign in button to just uh, make able to sign in with the google so i'll just copy all of these and i'll just move here and now i'll just uh, paste them here so you just need to install them so i'll just save this and now we will be just installing them in a second and after that um we will be just installing our and uh, running our application into the um, emulator so if it runs without any kind of errors it means that our 5as is successfully um, installed or integrated so i'll just do that so we will be just waiting for some times while it runs so let's just wait so we will be just getting some kind of errors or not so we will be just tickling that out So yeah, we are just getting some kind of errors. So we will be just solving this with you. I'll be just solving it uh, with you so you can be able to just uh, solve this. So just copy this into your Google and you will be just getting get the stack flow over issue and you will just get the solution here also. So we will be just doing that. So for that, I will be just uh, copying this. Um, uh, multi dex enabled to true so i'll be just going to my this uh, uh, project level gradle file which is this basically so here um also here i'll be just moving to my this basically app gradle file and after that um, i will just add this line here um multi dex enabled and then we will just need to add this line into our dependencies so i'll just do that and done now i'll just save this and i'll just run that again so that's it our application is successfully uh, running on our this um, emulator so it means that our firebase is successfully integrated into our this user e-commerce application so great congratulations for that so you can just i have already just solved that multi-text error so you can just do this same thing here to just solve that so if you will just get some kind of um, sdk error to just to switch it to 21 and that will be also solved for you but uh, for me i'm not just getting that so if you get that you can just solve that easily and now we will be just going to uh, which is this so here now we can just uh, click on this add button again and how we just want to an add an android application again to this project so i'll be just clicking on that so for that uh, we will be just also doing the same process again so in this time now we will be just adding our this admin um, thing and, and more information into our project so for that i'll be just moving uh, to this uh, app gradle file and we will just copy this which is ecommerce.application and admin application so i'll just copy this and i'll just paste this so i'll just name it baluch dev admin application so that's it application now i'll just register this app and that's it now you just need to uh, repeat all of the steps which i have done uh, before so you just need to do that so i'll be just doing that um you just need to do that so yeah that's it uh with firebase seamlessly integrated into both our user and admin application we have laid our robust foundation for our projects Firebase opens the door to numerous possibilities from the user authentication to real-time data management. In our next session, we will explore more advanced Firebase features and continue enhancing our applications. Stay tuned and until then, stay fit, stay happy and as usual, happy fluttering.